So hi guys, it's August London here and we're here with Merva, uh, Melanie and Clemens. How are you guys doing? How's it going? Yeah, yeah. Hi, <laughs> everything's fine, we're feeling good. The weather's nice in Vienna. How is you back <laughs> so how long are you back in Vienna for now? Um, we are now till uh, um we will stay in Vienna until first of July. I'm okay. going to Turkey. Turkey. Nice, nice one. So guys, let's start with your incredible name, Merva, um, which in English translates to Seagull. How did this um, amazing name come about and which one of you takes credit for its creation? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was like, there's no, no special story behind that. It was like, okay. we're sitting in my flat and um, we're, we're we just... produced the first song of yes. us. Yeah. What is called um, Flower Talk, it's Blue Day. Yeah, okay, nice. And then we are, we're looking for a, <laughs> we're a, looking for a band, band name. Okay. And, uh, and then it was like this. Blue Day. Yeah, yeah. Blue Day. <laughs> so there are uh, like maybe a port. And what is in this port? A port is like birds, yeah. seagulls. And yeah, maybe like Mover. Why not? It is like short. And yeah, like sure, exactly. Letters, it's four letters. Like, people will remember. That's cool, and, and it's so worked we, out. Worked it. Yeah, and so we, we took it. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. That. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I first found you guys and your sound, actually, um, with your huge track, You Make Me Feel Good, which is incredible. When I heard the feel good, bit like killer pianos and bass lines. How did this track come about? How, how, did, that, how did that inspiration come about? <laughs> to be honest, I really don't know. I guess we're really? working on this track. And, and yeah, there's one sample yeah, There's one sample in it. Uh, one, yeah. Uh, make it good as a sample, which yeah. we have from, had from, uh, um, from Logic. From yeah. Okay, from okay. Yeah, and we took this and then it was... Yeah, and then it was like, oh my god, it's like, you make me feel good and you have like the song, music sounds better with you. Yeah. It's like the first part of the whole uh, hook. Yeah, exactly. So it was like, let's do it. Uh, a rework of you make it, and music sounds better with you from Starbucks. That's and, awesome. Yeah, and we did it, and I sang like the second voice, and it was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Is it, was, does it like when it, when a song comes together like that? Is it all fairly quick, or does it take does it take like over a long period? How does it normally happen? I think we need. Yeah, it depends. Um, it depends. Yeah, okay. it depends. Sometimes we, we, we write songs in like. Three days or yeah. one, even one day. Okay. And sometimes it's you sitting there, you're looking at your 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 arrangement, and it's like, what the fuck have <laughs> I done in the past few weeks? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah we're all of our songs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. And do you, do you ever know like before you, before you release a song, you're like, oh, this song's a good one, or it just it's, you just like just let it fly and see what happens. <laughs> um. Uh, no, we let it fly. Let it fly. Said, we just <laughs> let it fly to see what happens. That's it's, cool. It's, it's for us. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, our, it's, it always matches our attitude. Yeah. It's like, let's see what happens. That's cool. As long as you're feeling good about it, <laughs> everyone else should, right? So, that's cool. So, yeah. I know you guys were in an indie band beforehand. Um, Mary lost her pathos. How was the transition from making indie music to making electronic music? And who inspired you? Has anyone like inspired you to make that transition? Um, when we played in the band, um, yeah. we had, um, do you know Native Instrument Machine? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, this, this drum pad, pad. This drum pad yeah, yeah. Machine. Yes, we had yeah. Uh, two synths, um, yeah. it was like indie electronic music. Oh, yes. okay, okay, so it wasn't such a big jump then? No, no, not really, we were transforming over the time with the, with the indie band into more, to get more electronic elements in it. Yeah. So... Yeah, but Clemens was very into electronic music, and so uh, okay. he, he came up with the idea to do like ele entire electronic cool sound. That's cool. Yeah, and it's to produce uh, music with um, with only a second person yeah. or alone. Yeah. <laughs> As when you have like five members in a band and everyone wants to do this and that, <laughs> and it's like, oh, I want to be the artist and express myself. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> just too many dynamics, it's just too. <laughs> yeah. 
And how does, the, how does that work in the dynamics in the studio between you both? Like, do you both take different roles or...? Um, yeah. Yeah. Also, it depends. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, Clemens is um, starting a song yeah. and I look over it after he almost finished it and it's like, oh, maybe we could do like some snare stare. Yeah, and yeah. he looks at me and it's like, yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I do, I, I produce the songs and he looks over it and he's like, can we do this? I, oh, give it to me. And I said, no, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, yeah, sometimes we, we do songs together. Okay. Yes. Uh, maybe the best songs we produce together. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. When both energies in like <laughs> one one song, fair enough. And you guys quite honest with each other with your opinions when you like think something shit. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we we try that because you have. It's also like if someone um, produced a song and it is like almost finished and you show it to <laughs> another, uh, it was it is like. Yeah, you don't want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So like, oh my god, it's total shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, we always manage to 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 not hurt our yeah. feelings. Yeah, that exactly. Much. Tread carefully. But say what has to be said. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Keep it fresh and all. That's cool. So I read that you guys are not about creating styles or genres of music, but instead you aim to create feelings, which is pretty damn cool. Um, so p perhaps for people that have like never heard you guys, what sort of message do you hope to convey when they plug into Mona? Um, what kind of message? Yeah. Um, I guess the message is, is it's it's a it's a different for every for everyone who's listening to our music. Okay. Uh, but um, I guess some of the ground spirit yeah. <laughs> uh, people should uh, feel when you listen to our songs is like the 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 lightness of um, yeah. of 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 electronic music combined with some some nice vocals yeah. which are maybe not the the greatest voices like uh, yeah. I don't know Beyonce and <laughs> Katy Perry and I don't know yeah. uh, but um, but honest voices yeah exactly coming something pure that's cool and um, so <laughs> Melanie you got incredibly rustic um, and then like emo emotive vocal which reminds me a little bit of uh, Robbie Croft from the XX um, when did you realize that you uh, had this vocal in you when did you suddenly decide that you were going to put your own vocals in the tracks um, I, I, I started singing when I was 14 because okay. I, 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 I founded my first uh, grunge band because we were <laughs> very pretty into the Nirvana and was like, yeah, 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 let's do stuff like that. Yeah. And I, I, I just, I just sang. Yeah. And over the time, my voice developed and yeah. now is what it is. That's cool. Um, Have you ever taken like singing lessons or anything like that? Um, no, not really, because yeah. I had some, but it's always like three lessons, and after that it's like, fuck that shit, I do it, I do it, <laughs> yeah, exactly. fuck, fuck that shit, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. either you sing this shit or you can't, yeah. and that's it. It's just, it's just um, real. Yeah, I, I hate like teachers, oh, like, yeah, yeah, my exactly. backs, like, Oh, you should um, relax your shoulders when you sing. And I was like, I don't want to relax my shoulders. I just want to sing. Yeah, exactly. Fuck out of here. Um, That's cool. So, you That's know, cool. And I think it's it's important that more people express their voices because yeah. in times where everything is so perfect and so um, what is it called? Like. Um, uh, I don't know the word in English, but um, <laughs> at times where everything is so perfect, I think it's cool to 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 sound more human. Like yeah, exactly. Raw. It, like when people listen to your music, they think like, oh, maybe I could sing this too. Yeah, exactly. And it would sound that bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so um, yeah, and also I, I forced Clemens to yes. sing. Oh really, Clemens? Um, you've been brought into this now. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> okay, keep yeah, it on the down low. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the magic the magic of, of nervous voices is like only together we have this 
the special sound. Oh, that's awesome. We, yes, we love yeah. the XX and how they sing together. Yeah, yeah, how they sing together, and it is like his Clemens has a really nice voice color. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's like he has like this warm, this warm, seductive uh, okay. voice. And so when we when we sing together, it is the perfect we match. Us perfect. Yeah, you got some yeah. nice harmony going on. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I, lo I love the one thing I love about you guys, especially as I do all my research is interviews, just like how how fun you are with social media and like social media, just like being hilarious with your videos and like when you celebrate milestones. Um, I can also imagine like going on tour with you guys is pretty crazy experience. Do you have any crazy stories from being on tour? <laughs> crazy stories from being on tour. Um... <laughs> 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 yeah, I have to. I have to tell this one. Like, oh, okay. This sounds good already. Very good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, um, we played. Um, we played uh, last year. We played a gig in Beirut. Okay. And and uh, we were meeting up at the at the at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> morning. Anyway, it was six six o'clock in the morning. And Clarence, um, he he, uh, he he got out of the car, yeah. and he was looking at me, and he had like this, <laughs> this fucked up like, uh, um, what was it, a shirt? No, yes, a shirt. It's uh, like um, uh, a blouse. No, uh, what is it called? Ah, oh. I'm missing the word in English. No. Like when you have the buttons. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and like a jogging, a jogging, a jog jogging pants. Right. And was smelling like alcohol, and he was like <laughs> so shit faced in the morning, oh and gosh. got into the, in the into the plane. Yeah. And after we the in Beirut, it was like, "Where are your clothes?" <laughs> and, and he was like, "What clothes?" <laughs> <laughs> and like, "Oh my god, we're staying like three days in Beirut. Oh and my god, don't have any clothes or something?" No clothes. Oh fuck this shit! I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, man. So, wow. It was the same, the same clothes. Wow, mate. No, I, I, I bought clothes there. Oh, you bought clothes there. Good. <laughs> Fair. It was hilarious, man. That, oh, that is Jesus. that is pretty oh, crazy. My God. Because um, <laughs> my cousin. Birthday. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep it real. Fair enough. Fair enough. The party and from the party to the airport. Yeah, yeah. That's all I forgot <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. At least you bought clothes there, you know, keeping it authentic, Beirut style. So that's cool. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so do you guys have any guilty pleasures that you listen to? Like anyone like T Swizzle or a little bit of Bieber? Do you ever listen to any of that stuff? <laughs> um. For me, it is um, Alanis Morissette. Okay. Sometimes um, I'm really into Alanis Morissette because it, I don't I don't know it makes me calm. Yeah. And and it is like this yeah girl power. <laughs> 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 uh, and um, it reminds me of my of my of my. Yeah, of, of my younger years. Uh, it's a little bit of nostalgia. Six, yeah, when I was 16 or something like that. And yeah, it's Ellen Morissette. And sometimes a little bit. But only one song. Okay. Nicki Minaj. Oh, there it is. Which, which, it's which? Super bass. <laughs> super bass. That's your jam. Super bass. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> So we 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 got to wait for that remix then. It's coming soon. The what? The super bass remix is coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> we're working on it. Yeah, we're working on it right we're now. Working on it. Oh, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for that. Um, so if you guys were going to host us at Orcs London for a day and night out in Vienna, uh, where 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 would we go and visit? Like, what what places have the uh, Merva stamp of approval? Like, where are we going to eat, drink, night out? Where's it? What where's, where's it going down? <laughs> Okay, where where we where would we go? Uh, yeah. yeah. I guess we would start at um uh, Motto am Fluss. Yes. Okay. 
um, to have like something to eat, but only 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 snacks, okay. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, to have a few drinks because drinks are very important. Um, of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Um, after that, I guess we would go to Pineman House. Okay. Um, to step uh, to stop there for some drinks. <laughs> More drinks, yeah, good. Some snacks. Yeah. <laughs> but you get um, you can also eat there a very good Wiener Schnitzel. Okay, nice. So, Sounds good. Maybe we have we have some some some, yeah. some lunch there. Nice. Um, um, after that, um, we would go with you to Nachmarkt. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to stop there for some drinks. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a big night. It's gonna be a big night. Um, so and then I guess um, it is yeah. Then we would go okay. uh, well, yeah to some clubs. Nice. Um, Maybe to Prater Sauna. Yeah. Okay. To Prater Sauna. It's cool. Or um, or to Flex. Flex. Okay. Or in the summer in the Fuga. Yeah. Or Skagen. For Skagen. We've got multiple nice. options. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Nice. And maybe before clubs we would hit Tel Aviv Beach. Yes. Okay. Because it's, yeah. For some drinks. Nice. <laughs> and what was the typical yeah. drink that like uh, that is good about Vienna? Like, do you have a special like special drink that's like from Vienna? Yeah. Okay. As, uh, the, 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 the the most popular drink in Vienna in the summer is definitely Spritzer. Spritzer. Okay. Nice. It's like, like white it. wine with uh, mineral. Yeah, with the uh, soda. Like okay. I work on that. <laughs> 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 no, it's great Spanish there, I love it. Um, yeah. So, that's cool, that's cool. Um, so, do you guys have any, like, go-to synths or VSTs that you're loving right now for all the producers out there? Okay. Um, yeah, right. we do. Um, it is like the, 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 the standard things we have always with us, and always yeah. working with this um, Massive. Yes, from the yeah. machine. machine. Nice. Atonia. Yes. Um, uh, Diva. Diva. Okay. Nice. And sometimes tri yeah, yeah. Trillion. Yes, Trillion. Trillion for bases. Okay. It's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Um. um and Nicky Romero kick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Nicky. I, mean, I, I, I love this uh, this this plugin because it's cool. It's, it's like a cool plugin. Do so many kicks in so many. Varieties it is yeah. crazy, man. I mean, other than it's so simple. Yeah, thanks, Nikki, yeah. for that one. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> so, is there is there a, like an underground up and coming artist or like track that you guys are really loving to spin at the moment? Like, who's who's on the radar for you guys that you're liking right now? Uh, we only spin our own songs. <laughs> fair enough. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fair enough. You gotta do what you gotta do. Play, play our original songs or remixes okay. or bootlegs of of other artists. That's awesome. But the so songs we are playing, they have to be adapted by Mulder. Okay. And okay. So, yeah. yeah. Because we're always uh, playing live. Nice. And singing, yeah, singing, and singing playing and instruments. So that's like awesome. A, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's something you special that you can see when you go and see you guys live. Then it's like a it's just it's just you guys. There's no no one else getting involved. I like that. No, sometimes we have, sometimes uh, we have like a sex from a sex. Okay, sex yeah, yeah, guy. yeah. The epic sex guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, or some guest singers. Yeah. But um, yeah, it depends on where we are playing and okay. if they are willing to pay for the extra. Of course, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's fair enough. Um, so where are you? Where are yeah. you off to next? Where's the next live event for you guys? Um, the next gigs. Are in Turkey, nice. Belgium, and France. Yes. Awesome. It's a little Euro yeah. tour going on. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. We're looking forward to it. We've never been to Turkey. That's awesome. Especially and so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clemens, remember remember your clothes this time, yeah. <laughs> what? Remember your clothes. I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will stay uh, three days in Turkey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> On a <what>? summer <laughs> club. Yeah, it's summer splash. Yes, summer oh, splash. Nice, yeah. nice. That's cool. That's I cool. guess uh, he, he doesn't need any kiddos anymore. No, it's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It's all good. 
Um, so what are your plans for like the rest of 2015? Like what can other fans expect from you guys? Got any new tunes coming soon? Uh, what can they expect from us? Um, another singer. Oh, cool. Which is being released on... I can. Um, <laughs> on the 1st of July, like yeah. in four days. Okay. Um, and so after that... Yeah, some official remixes are coming. Yeah, some official remixes are coming. Oh, nice. Um, also the Hudson Tyler thing. Hudson oh, yeah. Tyler, sorry. Awesome. Um, will be released um, in the next... I don't know. <laughs> some type soon. Um, and we're working on our album. Nice. Yes. So it will be released in 2016. Oh, wow. That's cool. So, That's going to be a full yeah. package. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> so now, now we have the uh, quick fire questions. So it's like quick questions and quick answers. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So to answer Zach Efron, is 128 the perfect BPM? No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, so no. your classic your classic song that you'd sing at drunk karaoke. Candy shop. Candy shop, big tune. <laughs> Take it to the candy shop. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's a, a must sing. Fair. When you're drunk at a karaoke, karaoke bar. That's yeah. cool. Did you do the rap as well? <laughs> I always try. You always try. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, next one, you ready? So, if you could only drink one brand of beer from now on, what would it be? Yeah, Stiegel. Stiegel, fair enough. Yeah, it's, it's an Austrian beer. Yeah. Okay. But it's the best, it's from Salzburg. Yes. Salzburg. Um, and yeah, it's the best beer we have here. Fair enough. Uh, the proudest moment of your musical journey so far? <laughs> I think everything about our musical journey makes us proud. Awesome. Because it is, we are really proud that we have, we, we can be here yes. where we are, where we are now. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, we are proud of our fans because they are so supportive and yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Makes us proud. And do you have a, do you have a song, a nervous song that you're most proud of making? <laughs> Same shit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the nervous songs they made, make, make us proud. Okay. Everyone is special in his own way, and um, all the songs are. That's a very humble answer. I like in it. Some special situations. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Um, are you guys turned up or turned down for what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, when you, I don't, understand, I don't, I don't get the question. When okay. you turn up for something, yeah. Can you explain? I think if you what, turn, what if you turn up, like it means you arrived. Or if you turn down for what? I'm not really entirely sure, but I think it's just getting fucked up, basically. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Then I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm turned up for. Turn up. Good vibes. Yeah, good vibes. <laughs> yeah. Can can I'm, you? I'm turned up for a nice weather and good vibes. And, uh, I don't know. Yeah. So. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Do you guys have a uh, signature dance move? Signature, uh, signature dance move. Yeah, yeah. That you rock out. I guess for me. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's like this. Yeah, it's like, but it's like pounding in your face. Okay. <laughs> Aggressive dancing. I like it. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, this, yeah. I guess it's this one of my moves when we're, when we're okay. playing. It's nice. Like, what the? Oh, oh. Fair enough. <laughs> the helicopter. Helicopter. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. So, would you rather be uh, a yoga teacher with no balance? Or a professional ping pong player with the slowest reactions. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the question. Um, um, okay. <laughs> I think um, both um, would be very frustrating. Very frustrating. Um, yeah, and fucked up. But I guess I would go with the yoga teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Minimize the embarrassment. 
<laughs> Fair. Yeah. Um, would you rather that everyone just gave you fake compliments or everyone was just brutally but harshly honest? Harshly be honest. Yeah. Okay, keep it honest well. Okay, I'll I like it. compliments, they don't bring you anywhere. You need an honest opinion to get better. Okay, it I is, like it. It is, it, is, it is the only way to get better. Sure. That's, that's a good motto. Um, so would you sure. guys rather have a wrestling match against De Hoffner or Freddy Morano? <laughs> I guess. Okay, I guess uh, um, we would wrestle against. Um, I don't know. I guess against if I if I if I have to say um, depending on their their body structure. Okay. Yeah. I guess we would wrestle the Hofner. Okay. Because he's. That bridge orange shape like like Freddy Vera. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's fair enough. Chance. Better chances. Yeah, that we could win <laughs> together against uh, the Hofner. Perfect. So, um, yeah. Okay, the Hofner is game on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, last question. Um, my football team uh, is called is uh, Brighton FC, and they're also called Seagulls. So I was thinking, you guys, would you guys like to be on the support? You need to be uh, supporters of the Seagulls, I think. Sure. You're up for sure. it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to go to a game. Have you guys got any final thoughts? Um, final thoughts. Um, uh, no, not really. It was a really nice interview. It was really okay. fun. Thanks. And I really loved your questions. Awesome. I love having you guys. Thanks for being here and giving me the time. So that's cool. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having us. See you soon. <laughs> yeah, see ya. <laughs> Bye.